All right, if you toss and you turn at night, you are not alone. The CDC estimates 50 to 70 million adults in the U.S. have a sleep disorder, and at least 30 percent have poor sleep habits. Now, new research from Stony Brook University takes a close look at sleep position and how it may impact your health. Dr. Carol Ash is director of sleep medicine at Meridian Health, New Jersey. Dr. Ash, good to see you as always. Good to be here. We should point out right off the top, the Stony Brook study was performed on animals, but you say there are real lessons for the sleeping habits of people. What did the study find? Well, that's exactly right, Willie. It was done in rodents. These were very cooperative rodents, by the way. What they did was they had these rodents sleep on their stomach their sides and their back and what is that when you sleep on your side you actually clear out proteins and toxins that build up from the day that we know can be associated with neurologic disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's so it's very important because it shines a light on the possibilities for what may be wonderful the impact of sleep and just sleeping on your side may do more for us than we recognize. Right, so we don't know for sure what the impact is on humans, but right. we do know that how you sleep, of course, affects how you feel, right? Well, Natalie, it's really important how you sleep. We do know, even though that study was done in, in rodents, that in, in, in humans, that when you're not getting adequate sleep, it has a significant impact on your health, right. and it can impair your memory, and we do know that poor sleep can lead to dementia. So sleeping positions, we rarely ask about them, right. but they can give you clues to your health, you know, if you sleep on an incline, you could have breathing problems. And for some people, we just consider it as comfortable. But sleep positions can matter. And for different people, the benefits are different. So if we go through some of the side sleeping, mm -hmm. who does that benefit mostly? Well, for side sleepers, if you're someone who snores, sleeping on your side can be an incredible benefit because mm -hmm. it opens the airway and improves airflow. And in individuals that are pregnant, sleeping on the side can yeah. increase circulation to the uterus and therefore the baby. How about a back sleeper? Back sleepers, well, what that does is that that helps to distribute the weight more evenly and aligns your neck with your spine so you're less likely to have aches and pains. Is stomach sleeping good? Well, stomach sleeping yeah. is just a preference. And right. obviously, if you have health problems, you want to avoid the stomach because if right. you have breathing problems, the stomach can be a problem. But if you enjoy it, sleep on your stomach if it gives you a good night's rest. I think a lot of people are probably watching this and saying, I sleep how I sleep. I may try yeah. to go to sleep on my side and then I wake up on my back or my stomach. I have no control over that. Is that true? You know, you have more control over it than you think. In fact, when I was pregnant, I slept the entire time on my left. And you can train yourself to sleep in a position. And you want to set the stage. Use pillows, whatever to keep yourself in a position that improves the quality of your sleep and therefore your day. I still sleep on my left after being pregnant. <laughs> Dr. Carol Ash, thank you. Thanks, Dr. Ash. You're Good welcome. to see you. We're back after your local news.